Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Linda Miaris. I'm Director of Admission for Birchwood. Uh, thank you for joining us for the fifth through eighth grade program. At Birchwood, our teachers are subject specialists, meaning they teach one subject to a range of grades and also collaborate as a department. Curriculum builds from year to year. First through fourth grade prepare students for fifth through eighth grade, and in turn, those years allow them to develop into what we call a Birchwood graduate and equips them for success in high school and beyond. Uh, we'll begin by watching a short overview video. Jennifer Seward and I am part of our fifth through eighth grade teaching team here at Birchwood School of Hawken. More specifically, I teach language arts with Dr. Mason Hadar, head of school Charles Debelak, and Lorraine Zhang, a founding teacher who shaped our specialized and one-of-a-kind writing program. Typically, reading and writing are taught together under the umbrella of language arts. Here at Birchwood, however, we keep reading and writing separate. Each is treated as a distinct core subject. This means that daily, students have a reading class and a language arts class, giving them twice the opportunities to learn and practice these critical and increasingly valuable skills. This also means that like all of our subject specialists at Birchwood, our language arts team has the freedom to dive deeply into our subject with our students. We are enabled to spend the time and care with them, to coach them individually into becoming better writers. And we can collaborate and customize our curriculum based on their needs and abilities. Like all of our educators, we are able to provide individualized attention that cultivates each child's unique potential and nurtures their love for learning. Because our subject specialists are experts in their field and we have a love and a passion for the subjects that we teach, we're able to transfer that love to our students. We want them to experience that love that we feel. We want them to see the light of why our subjects are important, to help them think like writers and think like mathematicians think like scientists, think like historians. We believe in the premise 
and the promise of creating a path for each student to go as far as they want to go, even as we develop their fundamentals. As a result in language arts, we saw three out of every four students this year participating in an elective writing program. That is, they chose to write for fun. We see students toiling in their free time to enter writing competitions. We see breakthroughs in students who in the past struggle to put pencil to paper and who can now compose complex narratives. This is the result of our goal, not only to create capable writers, but also to nurture and create a love of writing. Hawkins math program is all about the student, individual student. It's not about what grade you're in, how old you are. It's about what that individual student can achieve and what's their potential, how high do they want to go. And that is in itself is so different than any other math program because most schools purchase a book series and that's it. But Birchwood School of Hawkins, the we look at the individual student and we want them to reach their highest potential. At Birchwood School of Hawken, every student, in order to help them reach the potential, we focus on three foundational building blocks. One of the foundational building blocks is computation. And computation gives the students the ability to solve complex problems and move forward in their content. So we focus on developing that through our toolbox series our toolbox series ends in the fifth and sixth grade with fractional operations, mixed number operations, decimal operations, and percent work. The next building block, which is content. Content is pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, sometimes even algebra two tray or pre-calculus. And we have such a range because the potential ranges. And then our next foundational piece is problem solving, which can range again from the students that are just trying to get on to the problem solving ramp, all the way to the students that can that compete nationally and statewide in math counts. So to get the students onto the on ramp, we have a thousand club in the fifth and sixth grade where the students are trying to reach a goal of a thousand problems solved in a year. And that instantaneously makes every student compete with themselves to try to reach a thousand problems and they get excited and they are, and then they jump right into contest work, which is Continental Math League, Math Olympiad, Ohio Math League, and the AMC 8 series as they get older. Us, Birchwood School of Hawken math team, love math and it radiates to the kids. And when a student gets a teacher that loves that subject matter, they're instantaneously at least open to trying to jump on the love math train. Thank you for that uh, video. And you saw them give their overviews uh, on the video, but joining me now to answer questions that you have are Jennifer Seward. She's our fifth through eighth grade writing teacher and Nicole Gregory, fifth through eighth grade math teacher. Uh, we do have some questions, but also feel free at any time to submit a question uh, through the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. Um, the first uh, question that we had uh, come in, if Mrs. Seward, you talked about the writing program, 
but how often do the students practice writing in a typical week? And you wanna unmute yourself too. <laughs> like one of the students. Yep. <laughs> so generally speaking, um, we have students writing typically every day. Sometimes it's as simple as free writing. Um, sometimes it is um, learning and practicing stylistics, things that make our writing better and more interesting. And um, generally speaking, once a week, they produce one substantial piece of writing, such as a story or an essay. Uh, then uh, that kind of follows along with that one. Um, the next question was what types of writing, I know you talked about it a little bit in the video, but what types of writing do they engage in and um, what is that writing process? Okay, so um, students write all sorts of um, genres. So we have um, fictional and personal narratives such as memoirs and storytelling, um, description pieces, expository essays, those essays um, that include analysis and explaining. And um, moreover in our reading program, they, they also write there, they'll engage in creative writing such as poetry and um, again, analysis of, of reading. And um, to answer your second question about the writing process. So again, um, our goal is we want them to learn the habits of mind of a writer. And one of the things that that includes is going through all of that thinking process in writing from brainstorming to pre-writing to writing a rough draft and to learning how to revise their own work, which is a really huge accomplishment at this age, learning how to revise their work and produce a finished polished product. Thank you. Um, a question for Mrs. Gregory was about math competitions. Uh, what types of competitions are available for the students and does everyone compete? Um, starting in the fifth grade, we participate in the Continental Math League and the Ohio Math League and the Math Olympiad contests and all students participate in those. Their foundation at that point is well, well equipped to solve those problems. And then we also practice in class prior to taking contests. So there is an, an on-ramp to get that success on the contest itself. And then the AMC8 contest um, is more for the students that are in algebra or beyond. And, and even this year, we're doing the AMC 10 and 12, which means students in 10th grade and 12th grade and below. So the math is a little bit more difficult. Geometry, Algebra 2, it can cover all, all the way through those grades of math. So those students are, again, if they're in that grade, we don't want to just throw it to any, any student. We want them to feel some success. So th those are great options for higher ability students. Um, this uh, also goes a little bit along with um, that, but in terms of assessing student growth and then their readiness to move forward, so it's available to them, but how do you determine that they're ready for the next step? We constantly are checking every single day and we don't wait until the next week or until a test to see how a student is doing. So. Daily, we are walking. We are walking around to see how the student is uh, being able to do the work and what their questions might be, or if they're too shy to ask a question, if there is a misconception. So, um, but then we can also see students that are picking up too fast. So we can also move those students ahead, or if we need to scaffold more, just based on what is needed for each child, and it's a daily assessment not a daily test, but a daily check and having the students demonstrate if they understand the material. Great, thank you. Um, a question that just came in, which uh, I'd ask for both of you to just touch on, but Mrs. Seward, if you could start the question is about the homework expectations um, in the seventh and eighth grade, so those upper grades. So generally speaking, students will have about 30 minutes in each subject 
per night is the expectation. And it's usually a continuation in um, writing. It's just another 30 minutes of writing or revising or researching. And go going along with what Jennifer just said, we're trying to build that time management habit in the seventh and eighth grade so that when they go off to high school and beyond, they have no, it's not, a, there's no hiccup or struggle to manage their time. So every of the core subjects has 30 minutes of homework, including math, but again, time managed, that the goal is the time management, um, gradual, making sure that they can accomplish two to three hours of homework, which typically is seen in, at the high school age range. Right, and I'll just add uh, to both of those too, from an, a bigger overview, uh, one of the things that um, has been mentioned earlier in our program is just those steps, which you both said, uh, working up to. So by the time our students reach the seventh and eighth grade, they can be working on uh, between two and a half, um, three hours of homework a night in preparation for the types of schools that most of our graduates will continue on to. That would be what would be expected when they, um, when they begin in a ninth grade program. Uh, but at the same time, there are study halls built in during the day. Um, and if they aren't participating in some of our signature programs, those are also study hall time. So that's when they're learning about those tools of time management, those, um, those habits that they have built up uh, year after year. So, um, so when we have kids that join us in the upper grades, if they are uh, hardworking, they're ready to take on that challenge. They have developed also those skills and um, the transition can be a little bit uh, easier on them as well. So um, unfortunately, I think uh, that is all the time we have for questions right now. If we didn't get to your question today, we will follow up afterwards with an answer. But at this time, we'd ask everyone please to leave this session and return to the main page of the webinar. Uh, our next and last session will be on character development and signature programs at Birchwood. Uh, so we will start that at 4 p.m. We'll see you then. Thank you.